What happens with people is we tend to go out into the world and we look for those sort of excuses about why things aren't the way we want them. And when you do that, you lose all your power in life. When you start focusing on the external, on the excuses, you lose your power. I can go out on the stage and bomb, and people will respect you for going out there and trying your hardest. It's not how you actually perform that earns you the respect of your peers. It's the fact that you went out and actually did it. That's the difference. So if you're out there right now and you're struggling, there's no embarrassment in the struggle. It's just not. The embarrassment is in quitting. The embarrassment is in not trying your hardest. You have to remember that all people care about is how much heart you have when you go about doing something. It's about your heart. Are you going at it with everything, you know, from here up internally, or just going through the motions and blaming your boss, blaming the lead source, you can blame the economy. There's a million reasons why you're not selling as much as you could, things aren't going the way you want them. It's your story. We come up with a story of why things aren't the way we want them, and we hold on to that story, and it stops us from moving forward. In truth, the only thing that stops you from getting what you want in life is the bullshit story you tell yourself of why you can't have it. Get yourself together. Pick up your damn suffering and bear it. There's no excuse whatsoever for not getting at what it is that you should be doing. If you have an opportunity of a lifetime, I need you to take it serious. I want you to live the life you were meant to live. You hear me? Not the life that was given to you. Some of you are not transitioning because you're okay with the life you have. And I'm telling you, I, I, when I walk out, I want to be an example of you can start from wherever and get to wherever you want to get to. That's what I'm asking you to do. What fuels you? The reason why you're so lazy is not because you don't have the ability. You're so lazy because your dream's so small. You ain't got no standard. That's why you can't blow up. There's a certain level you can't get to when you keep compromising. You can't get to the next level because every time somebody draws something in front of your face, you give up. Don't you know you're more attractive when you can say no, when they know you got values? You think you're just going to change the game. You're just going to change the rules. It don't work like that. There's a standard to greatness and there's levels to this.